and good morning namaste can't see any of you but welcome welcome i would love to see your faces but here we are 26 asana two breathing we're only going to do one of each so it's going to be about a 45 minute uh yoga class today i'm mary and this is keith my demonstrator my son-in-law and thank you kyle behind the scenes and so let's do this all right, Keith, as you know, we always start with the pranayama breathing. Ready? <laughs> Good. Okay. Toes and heels together, please, on your mat. Set your intention. Here we are, about 45 minutes. Weight is in the heels. Connect those fingers right to the webbing. Knuckles connect to the chin. Shoulders back and down. Engage that core. And again, keep the weight in the heels a little bit. So exhale, breath first. Let it all out. Here we go. Inhale, breathing through the nose. Elbows come up. Slow and steady is the name of this game. Breathe in and fill those lungs to the very top. Hold it there. Head goes back. Exhale, breath. We're going to squeeze it out. We're going to bring the palms, wrists, forearms. Elbows will come forward to touch head down. Inhale, breathing for one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Suck in the belly. Head back. Exhale, breath. Six, five, four, three, two, one, head comes down, inhale, we're warming up the body, oxygenating, respiratory system, hold it at the top, head back, exhale, breath, eyes are open, mouth is open, squeeze every little drop of breath out of those lungs, head comes down, inhale, fill the lungs, keep that core engaged, weights in the heels, hold it at the top, head back, exhale, breath, here we go. We're going to empty those lungs totally, bringing the elbows forward to touch. Head down. Inhale, breathing. Fill it up. I like to keep my tummy tucked in. That way I can really push those ribs apart. Oh, head back. Exhale, breath. Squeeze it out. Remember, palms, wrists, forearms, elbows come forward to touch. Head down. Inhale. We'll do three more of these. Fill those lungs totally conscious of what you're doing. Hold it at the top. Head back. Exhale, breath. Squeeze it out. See how far you can let your head go back without doing a back bend. Elbows touch. Head down. Inhale. Hold it. Head back. Exhale. Empty those lungs. One more. Make it your best. Inhale. Fill the lungs until it is ridiculous. You can literally not take one more sip of air. Tuck in your tummy, head back. Exhale, breath. Now empty those lungs so completely, absolutely, and utterly. Bring those elbows forward to touch and change. Beautiful job. Feel warmed up yet? Not really. <laughs> Let's do a half moon to help out with that. All right, toes and heels together. Always check it out. See what's going on down there. Arms come up over the head, clasp those fingers, release the pointer finger, cross the thumb. See what you can do about locking those elbows, palms together, chin away from chest. Inhale, breath, stretch up. He brings his upper body back a little, keep the weight in the heels. Let's go right, left, right, left. We'll just do a tiny warm up here, just to let the spine know what the intention is. Remember, chin stays up, eyes always open through this full 45 minutes, please. Fully conscious moving meditation. All right, let's come to center, please. Set ourselves up. So again, palms together, elbows locked if you can, right to the ears. Inhale, breathing, stretch up. Create that beautiful space, traction up, chin up, and here we go. Fingertips to the right. Lift, left hip pushes out to the left. Take your time here. It's better to take the moments to reach up and over, reach up and over. Chin up, eyes open, push the left hip toward the left wall. Maybe sometimes we check the right shoulder forward a little, left hip forward a little. Think straight and square to the front. Again, chin may want to come up a little bit more. Keep breathing, squeeze those palms. Scan the weight in your legs. Strive to keep the weight evenly balanced. And I'm going to count you down. Here we go. Push out that left hippie for three, two, one, and change. Beautiful. Come up to center. Inhale, breath, stretch up. So he's traction up, creating space in his spine. Here we go, half moon left, fingertips to the left, push the right hip. 
toward the right wall. Keep that upper body back a little to keep the weight in the heels, chin away from chest, eyes are open. Work hard to lock those elbows, squeeze those palms. Now perhaps you might want to bring the left shoulder, right hip forward, psh, psh, straight and square. You know, scan the weight in your legs, see that everything is evenly balanced here, chin away from chest, squeeze those palms, keep working that upper body back, weights in the heels, and here we go. I'm going to count you down, push out that right hip as much as you can for three, two, one, and change. Here we go again in center. First back bend, only back bend, make it your best. Stretch up, breathe in, create that beautiful space. First thing, drop the head back. Really let that head hang a little bit. See how far down the back wall you can see. Now we're gonna stretch our arms up to the ceiling with our inhale breath, bring the arms back first to the ears as much as you can. Let the head go a little bit more and let's begin. Squeeze those palms together, reach up and back, pushing your stomach, hip thighs forward. Let your head go a little more, squeeze the palms, reach up and back, push your hips a little bit more forward, and give yourself one more chance. Squeeze, reach, go back, allow, and breathe, and change. Nice work for your first back bend, yeah. Stretch up, breathe in, traction. Here we go, bend the knees a little, forward fold. Here we go, arms stay with ears, straight as spine as possible. Exhale, breath, let your hands go, let your head go. Kind of feel where you're at this morning. Use your exhale breath to connect with your body. Bend one knee, bend the other. <coughs> See if you can bend those knees, keeping those heels right on the ground. Exhale, exhale. Yeah. He's letting it all hang out. That's nice. All right, let's move into this. So we're going to bend the knees a lot, bringing the tummy on the thighs, chest on the knees. Reach those hands around and cup those heels with your fingertips, really striving to get your pinkies parallel back there. All right, once you've got that happening, working your elbows behind your calves, you're going to pull on the heels, allow the crown of the head straight down to the floor, tailbone floats up to the ceiling. The lowest part of the spine is where we're lengthening, so really connect here. Use your exhale breath, pulling on your heels. Let your head come away from your shoulders. Think face to shins. Keep working your elbows behind your calves. Exhale, exhale, pull on those heels. See if you can straighten those legs just a little bit more. One day you will lock those knees and legs. Exhale and change, please. Come on up, Keith, the same way you went down. Arms with ears, beautiful. Stretch up, arms down. Ta-da. Let's move along into the awkward pose. So we step out six inches, hip width. Now when you look down, you see your toes and heels in one line. Please work really hard to keep your toes and heels in one line. That will protect your knees. Arms come up, so strong. Shoulders back and down. Now an inhale breath brings the chest up. And then as we exhale, bum goes to the back, fingertips to the forward. Bend those knees, striving to keep six inches between your knees and arms. And then wiggle your toes to see that your 100% body weight is on your heels, please. Strongest arms, work those shoulders back and down. Exhale, breath through the lowest part of your belly and find your depth and make it work for you. This will define your legs, make so strong legs. And change, come all the way up. Once you're up and settled, then come all the way up onto your tippy toes. Think tippy toes. So we're pushing our ankle bones forward. Work those shoulders back and down. Here comes an inhale breath, big chest. <gasps> now this is it, knees up, heels forward, hips down. Slow and steady is the name of this game. S please strive to keep six inches between your knees and arms. Make your arms so strong, take the focus off your legs. Keep kicking your heels forward. See where you can get to. Straight spine, strong arms, and change. Come all the way up, rock back on those heels, and then come up on those toes just enough to bring those knees together so tight. Then work the shoulders back and down. Next, inhale breath, big chest, and here we go, slow and steady, bum to heels. So we're using those inner thighs. We're focusing on keeping as straight a spine as possible, strong, strong arms, Come on down. We 
when your bum touches your heels, if it does, then think about a half inch gap between those two. So if you bring your knees forward and down, that will help bring your shoulders back a little. Perfect box from the side, that's exactly what we're after. Now we're going to make our way up so slow. All I'm asking is that you please keep your knees together. Strive to engage your inner thighs. Come on up, Keith, slow and steady. I can hear your knees. <laughs> Once you're up, arms down. Step your feet back together. Take a moment. Next up is the eagle pose. Toes and heels together, as always and forever. Arms come up over the head. First thing, we identify that right wing. Inhale, breath. So you're stretching, creating space. Then that right arm comes under the left. Cross and twist. Now sometimes we do this to make it a bit easier. I'm okay with that. But it, one day, you'll slowly work those hands together. And now let's please pull our elbows down and use your breath to connect again. See where you're tense and tight. Then bend your knees, please. Find yourself some good depth here. Now we're gonna bring the right leg up and over. The higher and better, the bigger the swing, the easier it'll be to hook those right toes behind the left ankle. Once you're there, we're gonna start working on these micro movements. So weight back in the heel just a little. Knees to the right, arms to the left. We're pulling the elbows down. We're squeezing our inner thighs and then chest up and back at the end. And then give yourself a teeny bit more depth, squeezing everything. And change, right leg down, arms up, big breath, big space. Create that space so your body can breathe left under the right. Again, cross and twist. Again, if this is what it is, okay. Or perhaps it's this until you can bring those hands together. Pull those elbows down, please. Connect with your body and your breath. Here we go. Bend those knees quite a lot. Left leg up and over. See what you can do about hooking those toes behind that right ankle. Bring the weight back in the heel just a little. Pull the elbows down. Squeeze your inner thighs and then the chest up and back at the end. Before you do that though, you squeeze and find a little more depth and squeeze and depth and squeeze and change. Left leg down, arms up, big breath. Arms down. Now might be a nice time to have a little sip of water, Keith, if you would. You don't have to, but if that's your pleasure, that's usually where we do it in the in the regular yoga practice now we're going to move along into the standing head to knee which is the strengthening and concentration balancing part of the series so first thing we do is bring our focus into our left leg see what happens while your right leg is still on the floor what happens when you engage all of those muscles body weight forward a little protect that knee from hyperextension this is what we're working toward then we bring our hands on our hips and bring the right leg up so now your right thigh is parallel toes are flexing back and you've still got that left leg engaged this is a hearty and awesome pose in itself right here focusing on engaging that left leg if you'd like to move a little bit further let's go for it suck the lower belly in roll forward and clasp that right foot with all of your fingers your thumbs are included in that clasp where they are underneath that foot so you'll see Keith his gaze is forward he's dropped his right heel just a little bit to keep that right heel below the left knee now if you would like to hang out here that's awesome but if you'd like to move forward inhale breath and kick out straighten that right leg so hopefully and eventually both legs will be locked chest up and elbows locked if this is your pose that's great and awesome if you'd like to move further we bend the elbows down past the calf we're still looking forward now I'm going to give everybody the opportunity to bring their forehead to the knee. I'll count you down. Here we go for three, two, one, and change. Nice work. Straighten, change. He's coming out the same way he went in. Bravo. Other side. Bring your energy of focus attention into that right leg. See what happens when you just make it so strong. That'll carry you through your whole life. Hands on hips. Left leg comes up. Thigh is parallel, toes flexing back toward your face. If this is how you did on the one side, please carry on. Do the same on this side. If you went forward, let's go for it. Suck that lower belly in, roll forward, and clasp that left foot. Gaze is forward, thumbs underneath the foot with all the other fingers. 
If this is where you hung out, awesome. If you'd like to go forward, here we go. Inhale, breath, kick out. Yes, and chest up, elbows locked, both legs locked. Bend those elbows down past the calf, still looking forward. Now well, here we go again, another opportunity, forehead to knee. I'll count you down. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, and change. Beautiful job, Keith. Yeah. Well, give yourself a little back bend here just to take the pressure off. Hands on lower back, fingers point down, press those hips, let the head go back. Take a moment before we move into standing bow pulling. Everybody's favorite, of course. Toes and heels together. Right hand comes out to the side. Think that you're holding a platter. Drop that hand and pick up the inside of your foot if you're able. If you're still struggling with that, the outside of the foot's okay. Either way, we want the two knees together, so right knee points straight down to the floor and connect with your right shoulder. See if you can open that up. Left arm comes up, palm is forward. Now inhale, breath, stretch those fingertips way up to the ceiling. So now he's brought his chin and shoulder together and begin. He will kick back and kick up and uh, slowly bring the body down, stretching those left fingertips so far forward. We're literally kicking and stretching equal 50-50 when we have our balance. <laughs> that's okay. We all fall down occasionally, and that's part of the yoga practice. Kick back, kick up. Stretch those left fingertips forward for five, four, find your pose for three, stretch, two, one, and change. Right leg down, left arm down, other side, here we go. Left hand out, just think about holding the platter, drop that, pick up the inside of your foot or ankle, or your modified, which is on the outside of the foot, that's fine. Left knee goes straight down, allow that left shoulder to open before you go anywhere else big part of this pose. Right arm up, palm forward. Inhale, breath, stretch those fingertips straight up to the ceiling. There's your chin and shoulder right next to each other. Here we go. Kick back, kick up. So you're really allowing that left shoulder to open because your hips actually stay parallel to the floor. Kick back, kick up, and that will bring your body down. Again, kicking and stretching 50-50. Two shoulders in one line this way. Beautiful. Kick back, kick up. Stretch those right fingertips for five, four, three, two. Find your pose and one and change. Beautiful. That's good. <laughs> now we're going to step to the back of our mat working on the balancing stick, what I call the capital T pose. So let's do it. Toes and heels together. Arms come up over the head. Again, see what you can do about locking those elbows right to your ears. Pointer finger, cross the thumb. Right foot steps. We're going to take a moment to set ourselves up. We're coming up on our left toes. Now inhale, breath, stretch up. Create such space. Then we go for it. Body down, leg up in one beautiful hinging piece. We're hinging on that right hip. We're looking four feet in front of us to help. Striving to keep the arms with the ears, lock that left knee, point those left toes, and drop that left hip for three, stretch, two, stretch, one, and change. Beautiful. Step back. Arms are still up. Here we go. Left foot steps forward. Take your moments to set yourself up. Balance on that left foot. Stretch up, breathe in, create that beautiful space, chin up. Here we go. Body down, leg up. Again, it's like boop. Body down, leg up in one beautiful piece. Look four feet in front of you. Stretch those fingertips. Lock that right knee. Point those toes. Drop that right hip. Come your body down a little more. Keith, for three. Stretch, two, one, and change. Perfect pose. Step back, arms down. Take a moment. So the lower down we get our body, the more fresh blood comes to the bottom of our heart and flushes that out. That's a big deal. All right, next is triangle part of the series, moving right along this morning. All right, so come to the top of your mat, please, and turn to face the right. Arms up over the head. Big step to the right. Don't be shy with your step. The further your step, the easier it'll be to do this pose, palms down parallel. Now please kick your heels out just a little bit to protect your knees lower back. Inhale, breath, chest comes up. Now as we go for it, exhale, breath, come forward. So you're again, you're hinging. You've engaged your quads so much. You're thinking of a straight spine lengthening. 
keep the body weight forward that will really help here now once you get down here if you'd like to place your hands in front of you on the mat that's okay but for a lot of us we're already at the point where we can bring our hands to our ankles or step on our fingertips with the outsides of our feet either way use your arm strength to think about lengthening from the lowest part of your spine to the very top of your head one day the top of your head will be right between your feet in the middle exhale breath body weight forward this is between you and yourself use your breath see if you can get one more centimeter out of that spine and change come on up straight spine engage the quads step your right foot back into place arms down to the side triangle we've reached the mountaintop here we go arms come up or I guess we've reached the point we're about to reach the mountaintop <laughs> all right here we go step to the right big step big 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 palms down now please pivot on that right heel so that your right foot is parallel to your back side wall and then bend that right knee so again, if the knee goes over the ankle, that's okay. Just walk that little right foot forward. One day this thigh will be parallel to the floor. Body forward, pew. inhale, breath open. Now just the arms move. Right arm down, left arm up, and we're gonna sink into it. We're gonna sink that right elbow in front of the right knee, stretching that left arm up. Your arms are perpendicular. Turn that head if you can, chin to shoulder if it doesn't hurt your neck. Now we're gonna work on these micro movements. Drop that left shoulder back. Bring the left hip forward a teeniest bit and then pressure a tiny bit, opening into that right knee, getting into that right hip, stretch up, stretch down. 100% of his body is being worked here. That's why we call it the mountaintop. Breathe in, breathe out, and change. Come on up, beautiful. Right foot in. Here comes our left foot out, pivoting on that heel. Bend that left knee, please. And again, see that your we need a little more space. See that that left knee doesn't go over that left ankle, please. Come down as low and deep as you can. Body forward, inhale, open. Just the arms move. And then we sink into it. Left elbow comes in front of the left knee. Stretch that right arm up. Turn that head to the shoulder if it's okay with your neck. Now we begin those micro movements. Drop that right shoulder back. Bring that right hip forward, teeny bit. Tiny pressure, open into that left knee, into the left hip. Here we go, breathing, 100% body, right foot's nice and flat on the floor, stretch up, stretch down, and change please, come on up, left foot in, step the right foot back, this time the arms come up over the head, arms down to the side, heart should be pounding by now, all right, last but not least of the triangle part of the series, separate leg stretching, head to knee, here we go, arms up. This time we're in a prayer pose, so just the thumbs are crossed. Really work on locking those elbows, chin up. And again, big step to the right, think three feet minimum. Now what we're gonna do is pivot on our heels to the back wall, and then we're gonna check our left hip forward, just the hip, boop, squeeze your inner thighs that will hold that in place. And then breathe in, create your space, stretch up, and then tuck the chin, exhale breath, and think of rounding your spine as you suck your belly and suck your belly in so much you're rounding your spine your focus is your forehead to your right knee so bend that right knee as much as you need once the forehead touches the knee tiny sips of air is probably all we can handle now for most of us we need to bring a bit of body weight forward into the right leg to bring that left hip down if your hands come undone, that's perfectly acceptable. What's happening here is a rounding of the spine and the squishing of the inside part of your body, like the front part. Keep breathing. Eyes are open. And change. So as you change, arms behind the ears, all the way up, slow and steady. Once you're totally up there, pivot heels to the other side. Set yourself up. Right hip forward. Boop. Squeeze those inner thighs. Hold that into place. Inhale, breath, stretch up. There's all that space we're looking for. Tuck the chin. Exhale, breath. Arms behind ears. Bend the left knee. Suck in the belly. There's a lot to this pose. A lot of dialogue, but major amounts of benefits. Bend that left knee as much as you need to bring the forehead to the knee. So your chin is still tucked so tight. Your stomach is still so tight. Total rounding of the spine here. Think angry cat syndrome. Tiny sips of air. 
and change please arms together hands together come on up arms behind head inhale breathing come all the way up stretch up pivot step back arms down bravo very good last but not least of the standing part of the series is tree into toe so again find your place please on your mat toes and heels together one more time we're going to bring the focus into that left leg so strong totally engaged muscles we start with standing when we're moving so we'll pick up the right leg clasp those fingers nice and tight just below that right knee and pull that in you know get rid of that gap between there in the back of your knee pull 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 so tight and then now we're going to grab that right foot from underneath with the left hand we're going to pull it up as high as we can onto the front of that left thigh and then once we're there we allow that right knee down be careful and gentle listen to your body and then shoulders back tuck in your bum right hand in prayer if that's your fancy we're going to move right into toe stand this time saving time eyes fall to the top of the mat and then hinge forward if you need to bend your left knee a little that's okay but think body weight coming into your hands are you okay on this side today mm -hmm. you've got a broken toe it's almost healed i think once you've done that if you want to hang out that's fine but if you want to bend that left knee bring your bum to your heel and then you'll slowly begin to walk your hands beside you seeing that your two knees are even if your hands are beside you and you're feeling comfortable maybe bring the left hand up you're still looking down and then we bring the right hand up if you can and then we're going to look up and straighten the spine eventually that's where we'll get you will even be able to bring our bum off our heel a half inch i've never been that strong but i've seen keith do it lots hands back down hands in front of you push yourself away from the floor using your upper body strength coming on up and right leg down nice job boop <laughs> you're a swaying falling tree today that's okay <laughs> we've all been there <laughs> let's go to the other side right leg strong solid locked that's your base your trunk here we go left leg comes up standing when removing squish it in there as nice as you can so we're protecting the knee by doing this bringing it into the hip instead now grab that left foot from underneath with your right hand and pull it up as high as you can onto the front of that right thigh allow that left knee down listen to your body once you where you want to be shoulders back tuck in your bum left hand in prayer if that's your pleasure and then allow your eyes to fall first can you do the side today excellent he's healing and again bend your right knee a little if you need but with so confidence and strength come forward place your hands on the floor and again if this is where you want to hang out that's a hundred percent acceptable if you want to bend that right knee and bring your bum to heel is that okay on your toe excellent see the knees are even walk the hands beside you eventually right hand left hand in prayer and then gaze will come up everybody be where you're at with yourself and your breath and change please again come forward enough hands on the floor push yourself away from the floor and come on up and left leg down <laughs> and change bravo very good <laughs> all right everybody let's hit the mat for the first shavasana that we have here so laying on your back heels touch toes fall open arms nice and close to the side palms up sometimes it's nice to work your shoulder blades a little closer that really helps chin is tucked slightly and be with your breath and your moment and your mat and your room wherever you are for just a moment here Lord knows I can talk up a blue streak but I'll just give you these moments of regroup the floor your breath be back to your body come back to your breath let's all do a unity breath here everybody inhale belly rise 
Exhale, belly fall. Regrouped, recentered, we've reset ourselves, and now we're going to move along into wind removing. So here's how we do we bend that right knee up toward the right shoulder and clasp our fingers nice and tight just on top of that right shin below the knee. Chin is tucked, eyes are open. We're going to pull that right knee toward our right shoulder, avoiding that rib cage. Left shoulder down, right foot relaxed. You can flex your left foot if you like but you're pulling, you've got literally a white knuckle grip here. Again, it's all about the tourniquet effect. Pull tight, feel the pinch in your right hip joint, compression of the right side abdomen. One more time, and change. Right leg down. Give it a s half a second for a nice flush there. And other side, left leg bends up. Clasp those fingers nice and tight just below that left knee. Pull that left knee towards your left shoulder, avoiding that left side rib cage. Again, let's scan our body. Tuck the chin, eyes are open, drop the right uh, shoulder down a little. Left foot totally relaxed. Maybe if you want to flex your right toes back, that's okie dokie. But pull. Feel the pinch in your left hip joint. Compression left side abdomen. Pull one more time. And release left side down. Give it a half a second. Flush it out. Here we go, both legs. Here we go. Bring both knees up. Now this time we're going to do everything in our power to bring our arms over top the knees to grab our elbows with our hands. If you need to grab your forearms or your wrists or even your fingers, I'm okay with that. But one day, this is what we're striving for. Chin is tucked, eyes are open. You are giving yourself such a glorious hug. Both hip joints and that transverse colon is being stimulated. And now see what you can do by Use your imagination to see your whole spine touching the floor, so that means tailbone down. One more breath, one more glorious hug, and release. Both legs down, heels touch, toes fall open, arms to the side, palms up, let it go. Nice cleansing breath here. Now we're going to work on our first straight leg sit-up. So toes and heels together, flex your toes back towards your face. Arms will come up over your head, thumbs are crossed, palms are open toward the ceiling. So as you inhale, you sit up. So here we go. Inhale, sit up, grab your toes, double exhale, bounce, bounce. Spin around, please. We're moving into the spine strengthening part of the series, starting with cobra. So we're on our tummies. Bring those fingertips just below the shoulder tops. Check it out. Fingers are all nice and tight together. Chin forward. Now we're going to work on the cobra tail. The glutes are so tight. The legs are so tight. The knees actually come up off the floor. Please keep your feet connected to the floor, the top of your feet. Here we go. Inhale, breathing. Come up. Chest up. Lift up. Look up. So his hands are still connected to the floor. Why? Because he's coming up enough to bring 90 degrees to his elbows. Squeeze your bum. Squeeze your legs. Press those feet into the floor. Use your inhale breath. Use your eyes to the ceiling. Come up a little more. Breathe in. Come up and change. Beautiful job, Keith. Arms to the side. Left ear to the floor. Let's take a little half a second. Shavas here. Just let our body glean the beautiful benefits of that first spine strengthening the cobra. All right, chin forward. We're going to move into the half locust now. So we're going to flip the palms so they're flat on the floor. Now, if you can bring them under your body without anything happening to your elbows, bent or anything crinky or hinky, otherwise leave them to the outside of the body. But if they're under you, the fronts of your thighs on the backs of your hands, touching those pinkies together one day, if not today. Chin is forward. Here we go. Inhale, breathing. Raise that right leg just a little bit and then think back and up. So you're locking the right knee, pointing that toe. Please strive to keep the right hip connected. You're not using your left leg at all here. Breathing in 45 degrees. You might need to come up a teeny bit more at home and change. Right leg down. Now forget about that right leg. Doesn't exist. Here we go. Inhale, breathing. Left leg come up just a little. Then back and up. So lock the knee, point the toe. Please strive to keep that hip connected to your wrist, forearm, or floor. Breathe in 45 degrees. Maybe come up a teeny bit more at home and change. Left leg down. 
third part of this half locust is both legs so either mouth to the floor that's what I do and I like to regroup my hands to bring them a little bit closer that really helps here here we go inhale breathing both legs come up together feet together both knees are locked and Keith is pressing down and back toward the back of his mouth with palms and fingers he brings his chin forward because he can get some serious height here that's not necessary keep breathing come up come up a little more come up and change that shaking is awesome arms come out right away right ear on the floor stretch the other side of the neck get that flesh going through wrist elbow shoulders all kinds of business not to mention your heart it's amazingly pose really powerful let that heartbeat come down just a little bit and then we're going to move on to the third part of the sequence here of the spine strengthening which is full locust also known as airplane so chin forward arms come straight out horizontal think airplane all right this is it you guys know what to do inhale breathing lift up chest up arms up legs up look up breathe in breathe in bring those arms up a little more breathe in come up a little more as you can maybe your legs a little bit more breathe in come up come up come up come up and gently land that plane beautiful arms to the side left ear comes to the floor stretch that other side of your neck there quick little shavas bring the heart rate back down gleaning all the beautiful benefits and last but not least of the floor or the floor of uh, spine strengthening is the floor bow so let's go for it Keith chin forward bend your knees we're gonna grab the outsides of our ankles feet or really close to the toes where your shoelaces would be yeah that's awesome strive to keep about six inches between your knees exhale breath first Psha. now as you inhale you kick back into your hands kick 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 so hard that kick will naturally open your shoulders and your heart look up roll forward one time on the soft part of your belly kick back kick up keep breathing kick back kick up see you might bring your knees together a little more kick back kick up kick 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 breathe in come up one more time and gently release that right ear on the floor let it go <coughs> definitely get the old heart pounding amazing for that spine strength those two muscles upside along the spine hold everything into place help us float through our life all right let's chin forward bring your hands just below your shoulder tops we're going to push ourselves up into a strong push-up boop just like that <laughs> If you need a little baby child pose, you can go for it here. Just stretch that spine out a little bit. That's always a lovely moment. But let's move right along into the fixed firm, please. So we're going to come to the top middle of our mat, knees together, heels together, bum on heels. Again, you at home, if you are one of these people who can easily go back onto your shoulders, please carry on. This uh, dialogue is mostly for those of us who have a little bit more trouble. So hands forward, open the ankles, and if you can bring your bum to the floor comfortably, that's great. If this is too far, that's okay. Back away. Either way, feet go straight back. Now let's see if we can go a little further by bringing the palms of the hands onto the soles of the feet. Work down one elbow, one elbow. If this is where you want to hang out, that's awesome. Let your head hang back. This is a really nice place to be. You're still getting 100% benefit from this pose. If you on the floor or down on your shoulders, you know what to do. You've grabbed your elbows over top your head. Your chin is tucked. You raise your chest to the sky. If your knees come apart, that's 100% okay, but please try to keep your knees on the floor. If they come up off the floor, chances are you've gone a little too far. If you hold your breath, you've gone too far. If you're making faces, you've gone too far. Unless it's a smile, then you're just exactly where you're supposed to be. One more breath and change, please. Slow and steady. Allow yourself to come out, always striving to come out the same way we go in. That's part of the yoga practice. And, you know, I think we should have a little quick shavas here just to flush the, the knees, ankles, feet, all the wonderful business that just occurred. Onto the back, heels touch, toes fall open, arms to the side, palms up, chin is tucked a little, protect that neck. Just allow all that beautiful healing to occur. Every time that we squish the blood out of something and release it, 
that's the flush we're looking for that's your own body doing its job of healing itself it's a miracle so let's move along please toes and heels together flex those toes back towards your face arms will come up over the head cross the thumbs palms open as you inhale breathe you sit up double exhale bounce bounce grab your feet forehead to knees spin around please here we go again knees together feet together bum on heels we're working into the half tortoise arms will come up over the head and this time palms together just the thumbs are crossed so this is a prayer pose chin up now inhale breath stretch up create that beautiful space and here we go we're coming forward so we look forward as long as we can to keep the chin away from the chest arms are locked once your hands come down to the floor and touch the floor forehead to the mat bring your bum down to your heels everybody kiss the mat so that way we keep our head nice in line with the spine then lock those elbows one day just your pinky fingertips will be on the floor exhale breathing slow steady eyes are still open and think lengthening of the spine here now here's how we do we're going to engage the core because that's what we use to come on up keeping a straight spine arms with ears here we go keith inhale breathing come on up inhale Oop. stretch up arms down always creating space now let's come right onto our knees please for the camel so six to eight inches or eight to ten inches as you need feet are flat come on hand with your hands behind you so right on your lower back fingers point down now work those shoulders back first then we're going to inhale breath chest comes up big 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 then as you exhale let your head go back really let your head go back look for the baseboard behind you and now we begin push your stomach hip thighs forward toward the front wall see where you're at today this is a hundred percent acceptable if you'd like to release your back and put your hands on your heels awesome but what we're really striving for is to keep the thighs parallel to the front wall mouth is closed eyes are open continuously pushing your hips forward raise your chest to the sky keep breathing one more beautiful inhale exhale breath and change please slow and steady come on up nice sit back on your heels and take a moment often we will experience stuff <laughs> it could be tunnel vision could be emotion but next is rabbit pose knees together heels together bum on heels we're going to reach around and strive to grab our heels with our hitchhiker thumbs if we can't do that we'll grab our bum for now but work the shoulders back inhale chest comes up then tuck the chin suck your belly and keep your chin tucked so tightly and roll forward focusing forehead to knees so once you start getting down there your bum will come up enough so that you can grab your heels really firmly once your forehead touch your knees then think rolling forward and as your bum comes up and again the top of your head will touch the floor but please strive to make it just the lightest touch we're not really having any weight on the top of the head eyes are open if your forehead does not touch your knees walk your knees forward towards your forehead but pull on your heels you're pulling on your heels you're rolling forward that will straighten those arms out that's what we're after and now all this amazing opening of his whole vertebrae is happening and at the very end bring your heels together you get to the very bottom part of your vertebrae here one more exhale breath create that space beautiful job and change slowly we're unwinding the spine as we come out of that once your chin is totally up release your hands and take a moment just be here we've already reached the separate leg stretching head to knee this sure flies by all right come on to your bum So the right leg will be straight and the left knee will be bent and the left sole foot will tuck right into that inner right thigh clasp those hands together right to the webbing arms come up over the head inhale stretch up create that space turn your whole body to the right here we go tuck the chin we're going to come forward forehead to knee grab the ball of the foot so that means bend the knee as much as you need to bring your forehead to your knee eyes are still open chin is tucked a lot here we're still compressing that thyroid then we drop the left shoulder keep breathing find your pose for you use your breath always 
and change. Come on up. So now we're going to straighten the left leg. We're going to bend the left knee. Tuck that right sole foot into the left thigh, inner thigh. Clasp those hands, arms up. Inhale. Turn your whole body to the left. This is it. Tuck the chin. Grab the foot. Forehead to left knee. Bend that knee up as much as you need. We always want to work on stimulating this third eye here. That stimulates the pineal in the back of the head. Drop the right shoulder. Eyes are open. Be with your breath. See what's happening here for you and your body this morning, this day. And change, please. Come on up. Both legs straight out in front of you. Let's do a really quick sit-up. So as soon as your shoulders hit, sit up, double exhale, bounce, bounce. All right, now take your peace fingers to your big toes. The floor is a little cold, hey? And walk your bum behind you. Burka juka 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 juka. All right, so what we're after here is a straight spine stretch. So for Keith, you're going to work to get those baby toes in line with your... If he needs to bend his knees, which he doesn't, he's got some really great flexibility here. Chest up. Big breath, 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 breath. Now pull yourself forward and think lengthening from the lowest part of your spine to the very top of your head. And just work this at home as you do, but think lengthening the spine. Bring the chest forward. Lengthen the spine. And there will come a day when you will literally lay right on top of your thighs. Inhale. Exhale. And now Keith, go for a forward fold. Just your very own. What feels nice to you? Everybody at home, go for a forward fold, your very own forward fold, and breathe, and be, and change. Come on up. Now straight from here, we'll go into the spine strengthening. So for Keith, he keeps his left leg straight, and then he bends his right knee, bringing the right foot up over that left knee. If you like to bend your left knee, I'm okay with that. All right, so right hand behind you. Support your spine so it's nice and close to your tailbone. Or is it the other one? We're good. Left arm up. Inhale, stretch up, breathe in. Here we go. Elbow behind that right knee. So left elbow behind the right knee and grab that left knee if you can. And then now look over your right shoulder. Breathe in, get tall. Now exhale, breath and twist. Look for the wall behind you, twist. Or one more time, twist and change. Boop, 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 boop. So a tiny counter twist is quite nice after that. Change legs. So the other side, right leg straight, left foot over the right knee, left hand behind your tailbone, right arm up. Inhale. There's that space. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Look over your left shoulder and twist. Breathing, get tall. And twist. And twist. And twist. And release. Tiny counter twist. And we've arrived at a final breathing. Now that flew by, didn't it? So knees together, heels together, bum on heels, hands on the top of your thighs. Let's do a big inhale breath together. So here we go, all the way inhale. Exhale all your breath. Half a breath in and begin. So you're forcing the air out of your stomach. <laughs> so you're like snapping that belly. Calming the fire. Getting rid of anything we stirred up. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Namaste, Keith. Very good job today. And namaste to all of you. I really can hardly wait to see you all. I miss your beautiful faces. But until that time... Take care of your beautiful selves, and we will see you next time. Bye for now. I'm Mary. Click. Can you see it?